Hi, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm Caitlin Ventrina, and I am 19 years old. Uh, my name is spelled K-A-I-T-L-Y-N-V-E-N-T-U-R-I-N-A. I'm Caitlin Ventrina, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm 19 years old. When I hear the word religion, I immediately think of belief. And um, I think specifically Christianity, just because it's pretty much like the dominant religion um, basically around the world right now. Um, and it has been for a while. So yeah, but it can obviously uh, connect to any other religion and belief. So obviously my family is, uh, so my family is Filipino, I'm Filipina, and um, we were pretty much raised to be Christian, specifically my dad's side was Catholic and my mom's side was um, Methodist, and um, we were pretty, it, it was more so my mom's side where we would go to a Methodist church and have um, services on Sunday mornings. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I don't really consider myself, um, as a, uh, religious person. I don't really consider myself a religious person just because I feel like, um, there's so many religions that people believe in and I, uh, I rather would like to, um, learn more about them rather than just stick to one belief. Um, but I would broadly say that there is, I feel like that there is a higher power, I guess, but I'm not really sticking to one side or the other. Um, I am just very, uh, interested in learning about other religions besides Christianity. I guess so. I sometimes think about it and I sometimes don't. Um, I think... Broadly, yes. Like I've said in my previous question, I think there is probably a higher power, but I don't really fixate my um, my personality and my lifestyle to that belief, um, just because I think um, I don't. Just because I am not really a religious person myself, and I don't, I'm not really so invested in religion as I am to other passions in my life. Um, I don't think it's all made up. I mean, that question is a little broad because it kind of depends on which religion. But I, th I don't think it's all made up. Um, for the most part, I think religion stems and roots off of a, um, they all just root from a belief that there is a higher power after we live and while we're living. Um, I think of religion as a lifestyle, whether or not you're invested in it or not. Um, I think there's a lot of history and um, a lot of events that influence religion and how it came to be in today's society and I think it's really important to learn all these different narratives and perspectives about how these different religions came to be. Um, my family specifically believes in Christianity, um, Methodist obviously, um, where I guess we believe in God and Jesus. Um, yeah. <laughs>
or at least that's the story they tell. He could have dropped out before. I think I've heard that somewhere, and maybe they just romanticized the story for me. I wouldn't blame them. And I was raised as, as Catholic. I went to uh, church every Sunday, and they would dress me up in church clothes and take me every week, and I would hang out with my cousins afterwards in those church clothes, and I would hate it, but we did it every Sunday. I think maybe we missed less than 50 Sundays my entire coming of age. Um, and what do I believe in? I know what I want to believe in. I don't necessarily know what I do believe in. I know that I want there to be a heaven more than I kind of want there to be a higher power, not necessarily that I would have a problem with there being a higher power or not, but I do have a problem with there not being a heaven or not. And I think what I believe is just that I'm not sure. I, I don't necessarily think I ever identified as Catholic, atheist, or agnostic, or anything else. I feel like I've been in between my entire life, and when I grew up, I would kind of be shocked when I would hear people at school say that they didn't believe in God because I didn't know that was an option <laughs> at the time. And I know that I was necessarily never asked to think for myself in terms of religion until I moved out. And at that point, I guess I just had my questions. Do I think there is a higher power? I think that wouldn't be far-fetched. I... I've heard all the excuses, of the scientific excuses, of course, and then the excuse that, well, maybe that's just what God wants you to think. Maybe God created that science. I don't really think you can argue with that. I think that's a great excuse to disprove or coexist with science, and I'm sure that someone out there who knows enough about science could give you a reason why that's not true, but I'm not them. Um, do I think that it's all made up? I wouldn't be surprised if I found out somehow that religion and God or a higher power was created by people like me who wanted more and weren't comfortable with coming to the to terms with the fact that they might not get that. I don't think that's unreasonable at all and I would definitely identify with those people um what does my family believe in my family um at least my parents they they're catholic I have two brothers one older and one younger and I think that we're all relatively on the same page and my parents are on the same page as each other and when they find out that it, we haven't been going to church they're disappointed but I think they know that there's a distance a greater distance now than there was before between us and religion or at least us and the religion that they taught us or any religion but um when my parents make me go to church yes every Sunday like I said we barely missed a week I actually grew up going to this church that I really liked in my hometown because all my friends and my cousins and everyone from school would go there. And then my dad transferred us to another church where they had PowerPoints of the prayers and the songs on the wall so we didn't have an excuse to not sing or to not recite the prayers at all. And I really enjoyed that. Um, if I were the higher power would I put away all bad and make things good in the universe? I think that would be the first thing that I would do. And not in the way that I think this is an obvious question that everybody should say yes to, because I do think that free will is an interesting concept. And I do think that revealing people's true colors is poetic and it's philosophical, but it's also at what cost should we reveal people's true colors if that means potentially harming others I think I would make all bad things in the way 
bad things in the universe disappear and make things good, but not in the way that I would want to interfere with um, personal thought, because I think now that's all we can comprehend is free will and thinking for ourselves and taking that away is scary and if making everything good and nothing bad means getting rid of that this is a decision that would definitely take some thinking and I don't think it's a simple yes or no do I believe in spirits well when I hear spirits I think ghosts and when I think ghosts I think there's one answer I always give to this question is yes I do believe in ghosts until somebody tries to tell me a story about how they saw a ghost. And I believe in aliens until somebody tells me a story about how they saw a UFO. And I understand that this can be harmful because if somebody had seen these things, I understand how a bunch of people like me would drive them insane. It's one of those things that I think you think, maybe it'll be real, but I don't know if it'll ever happen to me. I don't see myself ever encountering that. I don't see anybody I know ever encountering that. Maybe I will one day and maybe my thinking on all of this will change. I don't know if I've given you a definitive answer on any of these questions, but I don't know if I have a definitive answer on any of these questions. But thank you.